Number one in the human body is hydrogen. Matches the universe. Number two is oxygen. Matches the universe. Number three, carbon. Matches the universe. Number four, nitrogen. Matches the universe. And for each of us, the fifth element, other, is the same in both places. Okay? Other. So, we learned in the last 50 years that of course, not only do we exist in this universe, it is the universe itself that exists within us. And had we been made of some rare isotope of bismuth, you would have arguments, hey, we're something special. But there are people who are upset by that fact, saying, well, that, will that mean we're not special? Well, I think it, it's special in another kind of way. Because when you look up at the night sky, it's no longer we're here and that's there. It's that we are part of that. And that association, for me, is actually quite enlightening and ennobling and enriching. In fact, it's almost spiritual. Looking up at the night sky and finding a sense of belonging, given what we've learned about the night sky. And so, so now we have ourselves. Now, are we alone in the universe? We're made of the most common ingredients there are. And our chemistry is based on carbon. Carbon is the most chemically active ingredient in the entire periodic table. If you were to find a chemistry on which to base something really complex called life, you would base it on carbon. Carbon is like the fourth most abundant ingredient in the universe. You know, rare? You can make more molecules out of carbon than you can all other kinds of molecules combined. So, if we ask ourselves, are we alone in the universe, it would be, in spite of my diatribe about UFOs, I tell you in the same breath that it would be inexcusably egocentric to suggest that we are alone in the cosmos. The chemistry is too rich to declare that. The universe, too vast. There are more stars in the universe than grains of sand in all the beaches of the world. There are more stars in the universe than all the sounds and words ever uttered by all humans who have ever lived. To say we're alone in the universe. No, we haven't found life outside of Earth yet. We're looking. Haven't looked very far yet. Galaxies this big, we looked about that far. But we're looking. 